Hello, my friends. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about all the chemical dirty dozen. I am really excited. So, using some joy oil because it's always good to bring a little extra joy into the heart. And I'm just so joyful that I get to educate and do what I'm passionate about. Chemical free living is one of my biggest passions, educating on that, empowering you, and just teaching what to stay away from and what's super good and supportive to your body. I'm Mallory Reese, the oily yogi, and I'm so happy that you joined me for this video. So let's dive right in. Why should we care about the chemicals? Why are there even chemicals in our products for us to be concerned about? I mean, wouldn't you think that these companies would have our best interests and our health in mind when they put products up on the shelves? And wouldn't you think our government would be regulating what is allowed to be in consumer goods? You would think so. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. And that's what I'm here to do, just educate you so you can know more and do better. Now, if you have any of these chemicals in your home, don't stress, don't feel bad, don't feel like you're killing your whole family because you know what? You can't feel guilty for something that you didn't know before. Like I always say, no more, do better. And why does the government not seem to really regulate what's in our products. It's crazy. You would think that they'd have our health and wellness in mind, but unfortunately that's not the case. So let's do a little history. You know, I know history, history, but history is super important. We need to know the history so that we know how things came about, why things happen, and then what we can do to better it in the future. So back in 1976, Congress released what was the Toxic Substance Control Act. And basically what that act says, like on the surface, it seems like good. Oh, Toxic Substance Control Act. Excellent. That's going to have our good intentions in mind. But here's the thing. This act had a gigantic major loophole. Basically, the act states that if a company is using a chemical, they don't have to pass it through any type of testing or make sure that it's safe for us unless it's been deemed unsafe. Then they have to go back and do testing to prove it is safe or usually find out that mm, it's not. Isn't that a problem? Like it baffles me that that even got passed. What really baffles me is that these companies are knowing that they're using toxic substances in our products and they don't care. They would rather put their dollar over our health and that's horrible. I do not like supporting companies that function that way. I am all about people making money. I have no problem with that, but they need to make it ethically and care about the consumer. That is why I'm so thankful I have Young Living in my life because it is a company with integrity, with ethics, that truly cares about its members, its community, and that's what we're here to do, is just educate and share. All right. The good news is in 2016, that act got reassessed and redone. And now companies actually, any new chemicals that come in the market, they do have to prove that they're not toxic to us. <laughs> but here's the thing, all the chemicals that are already in those products, they don't have to prove anything. The EPA is slowly starting to comb through everything, but that takes a lot of time. I mean, this act was passed three years ago. This is 2019 right now. And still, if you go and look at ingredients on your on the shelves of any of the major retailers or even that you can buy online, it gets really, it's crazy. A lot of these chemicals are still in those products because the EPA, you know, there's only so much time in a day. 
Um, did you know that over 80,000 new chemicals have been developed since World War II? 80,000! That's crazy. So the EPA is a lot of work. There's already 90 high-risk chemicals on their radar that they're slowly starting to go through. Thank goodness one of them, triclosan, which is um, found in a lot of, or was found in a lot of antibacterial products like your hand sanitizers and hand soaps and all that kind of stuff. Those were taken off of the commercial market because triclosan is a known carcinogen. Actually, what happens is the triclosan chemical gets absorbed by the skin. So it was found in all these antibacterial stuff, which we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. And then when you went outside, the UV rays reacted with the triclosan and created dioxin, which dioxin is a known carcinogen. Dioxin gives you cancer straight up. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about antibacterial and antimicrobial products and chemicals in a little bit in my stance on all that. But, so that's the good news. The EPA has taken triclosan off the market. It's no longer allowed in consumer goods, but it hasn't gone off the market in hospitals or restaurants. So any type of business, major commercial products, you can still find triclosan in there. It's really, really unfortunate. And unfortunately, a lot of these other chemicals that are still being researched are carcinogens. They're endocrine disruptors. They mess with our hormone system. Our hormone system is vital, vital, vital for our health. It goes right up there with our digestive system and our immune system. If we don't have a balanced, well-functioning endocrine system, everything goes down the tank. Think about your adrenal glands that control and maintain a lot of our stress levels. And you know, we live in a crazy world right now. We're all super busy. So our cortisol levels are through the roof for a lot of us. So we really need to support the adrenals. Our thyroid, the thyroid. I have so many friends that have thyroid issues. Supporting, getting rid of the chemicals to help support the thyroid gland, the pituitary gland, your um, sexual organs and glands, the testes and the ovaries. How many hormone-driven cancers have we seen now? They are on the rise. Cancer is on the rise. Autoimmune diseases are on the rise. They're not going away. So we need to do whatever we can to just educate ourselves. Be aware of what we are bringing into our homes because here's the thing, friends. We are the gatekeepers of our homes. We cannot control what we run into when we walk outside of the homes, but we can control what comes in our homes. So you can control what kind of cleaning products you're using, what kind of personal care products you're using. It is so important to be aware of this because you got it. I'm here to empower you. You can do this. It's so, so easy. It's not hard. A lot of it is just ingredient reading and stitching and switching. And of course, joining me in this awesome Young Living lifestyle if you're not already here, because Young Living, like I said, makes it super easy. They have our health, they have our wellness in mind. Okay, so let's dive in. What is the dirty dozen? So these are the top chemicals that I really, really pray that you stay away from. Okay, you can find, if you go to my website, theoilyyogi.com, and go under freebies, I will link that in this video as well, but go under freebies and you'll be able to download this PDF that I'm reading from. It's a PDF that I created for you for free, so you can easily download it onto your phone, onto your computer, keep a little copy with you in your purse, whatever you need, so that you can check and you are empowered. Okay. Chemical one, anything that starts with DEA, MEA, and TEA. So those will have like DEA hyphen and then like a chemical compound after it. These are all hormone disruptors. So they're all endocrine disruptors. They are also suspected carcinogens. So stay away from them. You don't wanna mess with your hormones. We don't want cancer. 
Um, you can find these a lot in soaps, shampoos, bubble baths, lots of personal care products. Basically, these are ammonium compounds, which I don't really need extra ammonium other than my pee that naturally makes it and I release that <laughs> in or on my body. The next big one is the colors, the color additives. So your F, D, and C, and then it'll have like a number, like 40 red or something like that, and then the D and C number, and then a color. So those are basically, they're tar coal dyes. They are colors derived from tar coal. Doesn't that sound lovely? Doesn't that sound like something you really wanna consume and put on your body? I know, me too, right? Not, not so much. But here's the thing, these are found in everything. Any of like your brightly colored mouthwashes or toothpaste, that bright blue thing on toothpaste, flip that little tooth bottle over and see what's in it. Um, our kids' shampoos, food. These are huge in our food products. Please, please, please do not give your children these processed foods with all these color additives. Cause you know what? There has been research done to show that these car toll dyes actually are linked to ADHD. So they increase ADHD. I actually have a lot of friends that have cut that out of their kids' diets and it really helps. It's linked to headaches. Again, I have some friends that suffer from headaches and not consuming the, the fake color has really helped them. All right, the next big one is fragrance. Fragrance is huge. So here's what, you know, you think fragrance, you're like, oh, it's just the smell, it can't be that bad. I'm sure it's derived from plants. Nope, most of the time not, not from plants. Our fragrance is kind of like an umbrella. So there's been a lot of greenwashing going on to where you'll see like these companies and they're like, we're green, we're eco-friendly, we're safe for you. And then you start reading their ingredients and you're like, hmm, that's on my dirty dozen list. I don't think that you're so green as you say you are. That's called greenwashing, first of all, my friends. Be very aware. And then second of all, so fragrance is like, an umbrella for their trade secret. So what companies can do is any ingredients you don't really wanna know about, they can put under this fragrance umbrella and they don't have to release it by law because it's a trade secret and they're allowed to keep their trade secrets secret. So that's how they get around with it. So if anything has fragrance on it, please put it back on the shelf. What I love about the products that I use is that they smell amazing. They have these amazing aromas and they all come from therapeutic grade essential oils backed by Young Living Seed to Seal. So my products smell amazing. I know exactly what's in them and I'm just so thankful. Stay away from fragrance. Cause again, this can be irritating to the skin. It's unknown carcinogen, some of those products that go into that umbrella, and it can be endocrine disrupting. Take care of your hormone system, very important. All right, the next one, now this is why you need to go and download this PDF from my website, theoilyyogi.com slash freebies, because I can't pronounce all these, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not perfect. But the next one, I'm gonna do my best, so it's, imidazolam, urea, and DMDM hydronon. So basically these are antimicrobial agents. So these are agents that's kind of like the replacement for triclosan. And you know what, here's the thing. We don't really wanna get rid of all the microbes. I know they sound gross and they're like germy and you're just like bleh. But we really kind of don't want to get rid of all those microbes. Do you know that we have what's called a microbiome that surrounds the body, it's in our environment, and these good microbes actually help to balance out and deal with the bad microbes and the bad bacteria and the stuff that actually can make us sick. When we use these antimicrobial, antibacterial products, what that does is that actually wipes out all the good bacteria and microbes, all the bad bacteria and microbes, and basically it has space for all the super bugs to rise because they don't have to compete. There's no competing. They're stronger than all of those antibacterial ingredients and they can rise 
and then that's when stuff really starts to go downhill. So don't be afraid. We want things clean for sure. That's why, again, love my oils. They're very cleansing. But we don't want to get rid of all of the microbes. I know it's gross to think about, but we actually need them. They serve a great purpose on keeping us healthy and protected. All right, the next one is quats. So they're quaternary ammonium compounds. So these are known inflammatories. If you have any kind of inflammatory condition, like fibromyalgia, any kind of autoimmune thing, please, please, please stay away from them because they're just gonna up the inflammation in the body and you don't want that. These um, are commonly found in most personal care products as preservatives. So that's what it is, it's a preservative. Okay, the next one is 2-butathiol. So that is basically a fragrance. It makes that sweet fragrance in things. When you smell like that really yummy sweet things, we as humans are, we really like sweet. We're really prone to sweet. We like the smell of sweet and all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, this is a known respiratory irritant. So if you have any type of respiratory stuff, any type of asthma or all that kind of stuff, you wanna make sure to avoid this. So this will be found in your candles. It'll be found even like in cleaners to kind of make them maybe smell not so horrible. P.S. Your cleaner does not have to smell horrible. It can smell amazing. Um, so stay away from it. The next one is parabens and phthalates. So parabens and phthalates are used for preservatives, but we don't want them. We don't need them. Mm -mm. So they are suspected carcinogens. They're found in a lot of like shampoos, body washes, a lot of personal care products. Okay, the next one is petroleum. So petroleum by itself, if refined properly, isn't like technically horrible, but honestly it's like refined coal and the plastic and that just does not sound like something I ever wanna rub on my body whether or not it's refined properly. And here's the other thing, friends. In the US, our refining methods are not as strict as you would find in the European Union or other countries. So don't trust, don't trust our petroleum. So petroleum you'd find is like in our mineral oil and the baby mineral oil. Please, please, please don't use mineral oil on your sweet little babes. You don't need to, there's other options. You can use coconut oil. Young Living makes an amazing seedlings baby oil that smells amazing. So, and then petroleum jelly. A lot, I know like some people use that for like their eczema and everything. It is not helping your eczema, please stop. There's other ways. Start looking into your liver if you have eczema stuff my little tidbit to you. All right, so you, did you know that this petroleum stuff can actually have mutagenic agents in it? They can really start messing with our DNA. We don't wanna mess with our DNA, that's no bueno. It's also a suspected carcinogen and can break down into fluorothin. We don't want that either. Okay, the next one is propylene glycol. So propylene glycol will be found in cosmetics, a lot of personal care products, as well as if you smoke any of those e-cigarettes or even cannabis cartridges, be very aware of what's in those. A lot of them are have propylene glycol in it and you don't wanna smoke that. It's not good, it's a known carcinogen. It also can really trigger headaches, respiratory issues, just don't use it, yuck, 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 yuck. All right, next one is sodium lauryl sulfate. So this is our SLS, when you see SLS on the label. And basically what this does is it's the foaming agent. So it's what gives us those really satisfying suds that we love and kind of help us make me, us feel like things are getting really clean. But we don't want it. It's a skin and lung irritant. It's a known carcinogen when it reacts with other chemicals in our body and just with other chemicals within the products. You don't want it. You don't need it. You really don't need it. There's so many products without it. And 
you can get those in your hands. Super easy. Just reach out to me. I'll help you. I'm here to guide you and lead you down your chemical free lifestyle. All right, next one is chlorine. So chlorine's found a lot in our waters to kind of help keep some of the yuck in our pipes and everything down. Make sure you get a good water filter so you can filter out the chlorine and the fluoride in your water. Very, very important. Chlorine is a known respiratory ir irritant. So if you're cleaning with those cleaning products with like um, chlorine and bleach and all that kind of stuff in them, and you know, you, you like clean the bathroom and it's all sparkling and white, but you're walking out of there like wheezing, like <sighs> that's the chlorine. You don't need it. Stay away. You can get your things really sparkling white and clean so easily. Lemon oil for sparkling white is my friend. All right. The last one is talc. So talc we found, unfortunately, in our baby powders. Very well-known company, puts a lot of talc in their baby powders. Please don't use that arrowroot powder or corn non-GMO cornstarch is a great replacement. You can also find it like in our mineral makeups, foundations, um, any type of adult powders. Some adult men use powders. Mm -hmm. Don't use talc. You don't want that near all of your genitals. We want to keep that safe. That's an important area, right? Um, talc's been, it's a known carcinogen. There's a big company that's in some serious hot water right now because of using talc for many, many years. All right, friends. So that's the quick chemical dirty dozen. There's other chemicals. You can go and research them, but download this PDF at my website, theoilyyogi.com. Totally free to you. Go under freebies and contacts. It's right there. And keep this with you. Be empowered. There are other ways. If you're so lost and you know you want to make a change, reach out to me. You can email me at mal.theoilyyogi at gmail.com or just go visit my website, go under the freebies and contact and just shoot me a quick contact. I would love to reach out and help you along your journey. I would love you to join the Young Living Lifestyle if you're not already because it really is a blessing and it's an amazing way to live your life. All right, friends, have a wonderful rest of your day. Be empowered. Start in your bathroom. Marie Kondo the crap and the chemicals out of your bathroom. All right, bye.